There are currently over a billion cars on the roads all over the world. And that figure should go up to as much as 1.7 billion in the next 20 years. Since we can't keep building new roads, how do we deal with the increasing traffic? This is unsustainable if we continue in that way. So the only possibility is that we find solutions for the vehicles to use better the space that they have in the roads. And for that, one of the possibilities is that they cooperate with each other. Autonomous driving and connected car, of course, are the technical prerequisites. But Carrion really goes a step beyond that, in that it really goes for coordinated driving and uh, deals with the problems. And we have tremendous safety problems. If we are moving to a sense and avoid paradigm, we need to rely on the information the sensors provide us. And because this information can be subject to faults affecting the quality of the information, then it's necessary in order to ensure that the vehicles are always safe, that it's possible to quantify how accurate is this information collected from the sensors. The safety kernel is a pretty simple thing which just contains a set of statically compiled rules and these rules are proven safe at design time and can be applied at runtime. One of the main contributions of the Carrion project is the fact that it provides a new way of engineering these future cooperative systems. One of the key challenges in automated driving is to reduce the mass production cost of this vehicle. Because getting a very safe car, you can do that by either restricting the functionality very much or by adding high quality components. And we are doing here concepts where you can balance this. You can use commercial available sensors and communication components and still being able to build something that will be safe. That in turn increases the noise that comes from the sensors. The question is, how to deal with the uncertainty related to these higher noise levels. In Carrion, we show how to do that. Safety requires the system to work in almost 100% of the time. But what if your cooperative functionality works only in 99% of the time? Carrion shows how to switch from a cooperative functionality to a baseline functionality when the data validity is insufficient and then, when we regain data validity, we can switch back to cooperative functionality. So you will get safety at a cost that is affordable. In the automotive domain, we consider basically three use cases. One use case is a platooning, where different vehicles go one behind the other, and then we can have shorter distances between them thanks to the solutions provided in Carrion. When the data validity drops because of bad communication, the intervehicular distance increases. And when we regain back good communication, we close the distance. Cooperative intersection crossing allows vehicle to always safely cross the intersection. If they can communicate, they can do that in a very efficient manner. And if they cannot, they are sure that both of them will stop at the intersection border and then cross in a safe manner. Current shows how the safety kernel can monitor the challenging scenario of lane change. Here we have a vehicle that comes from outside of the system and enters the system. Notice that we have to deal with complications such as different level of service and vehicles coming from different directions and want to join the platoon. On the future road, we're going to see many more bumper-to-bumper high-speed traffic jam in which vehicles change lane in an energy-efficient manner. In fact, it's going to be much safer. This project will be an enabler. It is an enabler, I would say. We have good pieces that are our key pieces for solving this kind of paradox of being both commercially affordable and safe enough for the 